Good afternoon everybody. Today we're looking at the Fujimi Nismo S-Tune Skyline Coupe. Um, also known as the Infiniti G35. Um, exactly the same car. Um, however, this is the Nissan version. Let's take a look then. And again, this was one of the first kits I got um, and it's one of my favourite cars as well. Instructions. Uh, link in the description for you. Um, if there isn't, then I can't get one, unfortunately. You've got your clear bits, headlights, rear lights, and they're all done clear, obviously, but you can do them whichever way you like. Seats, um, are these the standard ones? They look, they don't look like the standard ones. The only reason I know, because I was looking to buy one, actually, um, a couple of months ago, that a 1-1-1, one, 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 one. And, uh, yes, let's get the interior out. I'll tell you what they are in a minute. And there's your interior tub. Typical Fujimi. Not hugely detailed, but it's all right. It's not bad, bad. Um, but yeah. Now, more interior bits. Hence why these aren't all in bags, because um, I got these out. Uh, right. Steering wheel, two sets of gear knobs, whether you want to go auto or manual. There's your wipers and your mirrors. Chrome bits, no point getting these out, you can just see them as they are. Um, Yeah, you've got headlight buckets and rear light buckets as well, which is quite nice. Um, grill. That's the only grill you get in this, um, but easily you can make another one if you wanted to. Exhaust and your uh, mirror bits, your actual mirrors. And last one. Um, yeah. These are actually quite hard to get hold of, these... Um, 350 GTs or G35s, whichever you want to call it. Um, I don't know where there's a Nismo one for sale at the minute, but um, let me know. I wouldn't mind another one. Right, what do we have here? Uh, let's do the chassis first. There you go, everything's moulded in. There's your suspension. Um, brakes aren't moulded in. Um, but they're actually quite nice, the suspension. They actually look quite real, if that makes sense, like the lower arms and whatnot. Um, not entirely sure what they are. I'll have a look in the thing we're gonna do it and have a look, instructions. And then your brakes, nothing special, just, uh, where are we, there we go. <laughs> just plain old brakes. There you go, and there's your exhausts. Are they exhausts? No, they're not. Or are they? Oh, who knows? Have a look in the description, um, in the instructions. That should be able to tell you. Now, last but not least, um, body. Wheels and bumpers and those little bits. Decals. Let's get these out of the way with first. Um, the elusive Nismo decals. Um, I won't be doing a Nismo version, however, it'll be great to use these decals on another Nissan to do a Nismo version of something else. Um, you've got Skyline, 350 GT, Nismo, Nismo S-Tune, um, Nismo or JDM plates, which is quite nice, and you get the option of doing whichever plates you want. Um, and yeah, dials as well. That is about it. Now, the worst bit of this kit, believe it or not, is the body fitment. Right, starting off, the side skirts I've already glued. They're all right. However, I actually took the front bumper off again. Um, but I started this straight away. Pretty much, and I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd have got um, like a crappy kit, a cheap kit to uh, 
first practice on. Now, I can't actually fit this bumper back because it needs a little bit of work now. If you see on there, let's get super duper mega close up and you'll see. Those little pins, that's actually, they're actually indents normally. However, when I took the bumper off, uh, uh, that, yeah, they um, got snapped off. But let me just tell you that the fitment is awful. Unfortunately, it is, but it's just one of them things. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure that only Fujimi make these Skyline kits or G35, whichever's. We'll just call it Jukupe. Now it looks all right there, but trust me, it's not. It does need a little bit of work for it to all match up on each side and all stuff like that. Now, rear bumper is also the same. Whoops, I don't know if I did it the right way around. Let's uh, just get this on off the camera and then we'll be able to have a look. Now, there's your rear bumper mocked up. However, it's probably just me. I'll have to look off the camera just to see if I get what I mean. This is probably just me being super perfectionist. I'll zoom in to show you what I mean. You see how... It's not really going to show you, I don't think. You see there how it doesn't line up very well. But that's just going to be a case of a bit of putty and a bit of sanding. Now, wheels, they are all the same width, they, I can't actually think for the life of me what they are, I'm massive Nismo buff or Nissan buff and I can't actually think what they're called, however, they do look very nice, they are a very nice wheel, tyres are nice size, not too big, not too small, they're nice. So yeah, what would I give this kit out of 10? Um, I'm going to give it a 9. That's probably me being a little bit biased because I love these cars. Um, I mean, you get the Nismo decals, which are really nice. Loads of decals in there. Loads of the chassis. In all fairness, yeah, a lot of it's moulded in. But the suspension parts are great. They do look very lifelike, so to speak. The only issue, really, is just the bumper fitment. That's the only thing, really. Um, oh, I didn't show you what these were. If you notice here, you've got a little latch thing. Now, how do these go on? They sort of go on like that. So you've got little spat things that go on the end. They won't be used, they will be filled in, but yeah, just to let you know if you wanted to go fully, fully uh, Nismo on it. And also on the rear bumper, you've got the little diffuser thing there. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, don't forget to take a, a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, if you don't want to see more, just have a look at my channel. There's loads and loads of videos um, mounting up now. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.